Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access of Trader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is doing well. Hope everybody had a good uh, day of trading. Uh, yesterday, there was no video, in case anybody cared. Uh, my mom had me uh, had a request for me to do something. So again, how can you say uh, no to mom, right? So unfortunately, it was not no video last night. But and unless you were really living under a rock, uh, the big story in the last 24 hours or so has not been the overall market. Overall market continues just to kind of grind up, right? Grind up in a very delta neutral sort of way. Uh, a lot of names just kind of going sideways. A lot of names like, like they're about to go and then they stall out. A lot of names look like they're about to fall asleep and then they wake up. It's just a nice little grind. And we'll get to individual names in a second. The big story was, and usually you wouldn't hear me uh, talking about this, but a cryptic tweet from the the old uh, you know the old leader of the old GameStop revolution, and that was one Roaring Kitty. So he actually didn't tweet anything out. I'm probably the last one on the toting pole to know about this. It was just a picture, okay? But basically, it was an announcement that hey, I am back after two years, and for some reason, this was a green light for GameStop to go absolutely nuts. The crazy part about it is there was actually a lot of accumulation of GameStop in the prior to in the prior week or so. Stock actually had put in a great run from 11 to about $17 before this came out. Again, there's a lot of conspiracy theories. Well, you know, maybe he told people about his comeback a week ago and they were accumulating and it spread like wildfire. Who knows? That's all speculation. The moral of the story is 2020 for at least 24 hours, was back. And GameStop went just nuts, just absolutely nuts, um, from literally from $17 on that cryptic tweet. I uh, traded pre-market today to $80. Um, just absolutely insane. Um, I, you know, And not only that, it took AMC and pretty much anything uh, with it, right? So the first thing I want to do is congratulate the whole retail pub. Anybody who's been holding these stocks, uh, trading these stocks, praying for these stocks, whatever your, your deal is with these stocks, you got a pretty good move uh, in the last 24 hours. Now, is this move dead? I, I don't think it's over just yet. Um, they usually move. It's not going to end. Uh, it's not going to end uh, on, a, on a day two. You probably have one or two more days. The thing that you have to look out for is lower highs, lower lows, and exhaustion channels uh, in the middle of the morning. Because you get you, again, you're not going to get a reversal day two. You're just not. Very rare. Um, having said that, I, I do believe that you probably have one or two more days of this. Um, and usually what's going to happen is the movie's going to end exactly the same way. Again, I'm not trying to rain in anybody's parade. You could take this uh, you know, any way you'd like. Oh, we've seen we've seen how this euphoria ends. We've seen uh, retail, you know, not selling. The stock doubles, not selling. The stock triples, not selling. The stock quadruples, not selling. It's going to hundreds, going to thousands, going to two thousand, going to ten thousand. I'm never going to sell it. Yada yada yada. A year later, it's back to two dollars. Uh, so look, be smart. You know, history has shown you that euphoric levels are there for retail. This is why the pawns on this chessboard they die first, right? It's very rare that the pawn, unless you're playing with a very novice chess player, it's very rare that the pawn gets to the other side of um, uh, of the board. So you got to use this gift, and this is what it was. You got to use this gift. You know, if you have a huge runner, if you have a small runner, whatever the case may be, just understand. Tony dies at the end, right? When he shoots out with the Bolivian hit squad. He dies at the end. The world is yours was like cool for like 20 minutes. I've seen Scarface 250 times. There's no alternative ending. He dies at the end. And you know, sorry in case you haven't seen it. But the point is, these things are going to end exactly the same way, right? You're probably going to get one or two more days. 
you're probably going to get a scenario that the head's going to be cut off, the chicken's still going to run around, but eventually it's going to fall. So look, the market gods gave you guys an incredible gift. Do not, you know, you know, do not look at gift horse in the mouth. Take your money. Take your money, move on, and just be grateful for what you got because again, what you got is a generational type of 24-hour move. You got literally a 200% move, both AMC uh, and GameStop uh, overnight. So congratulations. If you're holding your honor, just manage it. But the point is, be grateful for what you have. Don't get greedy to want more. So let's talk about the overall tape. Uh, again, QQQs continue uh, to grind higher. Uh, we are you know, literally a stone throws away uh, from that four, you know, 449 high from March the 21st, you got the SPY continuing to grind. You got the Dow Jones Industrial continuing to grind. The only problem was with the last four or five days is everything's kind of going sideways. If, if you look at the scoreboard and pretty much every single stock, and we'll go with them one by one, you had Amazon that had a nice move, you know, came in a little bit till a little profit taking. You had Meta had a nice recovery. You know, came in with a little bit of profit taking. You had Google, it came out with some sort of AI news today, some sort of event. You know, it came back in, it rallied a little bit. You know, it looks fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Uh, you got Microsoft yesterday, uh, pre market had some AI news. They sold off the news, it's kind of going sideways now. Uh, Reddit has been on a tear. If you guys remember, uh, we talked about Reddit last week uh, approaching its earnings highs. This thing really went nuts. We actually saw some October 110 calls coming in. Uh, pretty interesting, almost a double of some of these betting for the stock. Uh, but if you look at names like Apple, you know, again, it's above its earnings highs, kind of grinding higher. Uh, you got names, for example, like Tesla. If you guys remember last week, it's lost its whole earnings gap. Uh, the last video I recorded was on, on the weekend video. I said, hey, if they start losing this 167, it's going to get a hit. Well, the Bulls, you know, Bulls did their job. They held that 167, obviously never confirmed. And now it's just one day away from maybe reclaiming back this upside supply. So at least it's starting to look good. We did see a whole bunch of 80, 85, uh, 90 calls coming in uh, for the weekly expiration. But now just the way the bulls, you know, defended the bottom of the range here, well, the bears have to defend the top of the range here. Because if not, I, I, I definitely like this thing. Because if this thing gets above the top of supply here on Tesla and reclaims back uh, the 65-day EMA, man, maybe this thing really wakes up and maybe gives us that second run uh, into the earnings sphere. But the one that is just ready to go, man, I mean, how how long have we been talking about the NVIDIA going sideways? Like today, you know, I traded NVIDIA today three times. And again, no complaints. You know, you know it's giving you a $2 move here, $3 move here, $2 move here, and then it fails. So it, it's, it's one of those scenarios that it's getting to the dance and then it realized when it gets to the dance, it doesn't have any pants on. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe it's a bad thing. No diddy. Yeah, I said it. Right? But the point is, it's going sideways. Okay? Tomorrow, you got data coming out, 8.30. You know, is this going to be finally the day that really pulls off all of technology again? I'm hoping. You know, I'm hoping. I think a lot of you guys who trade the mega, te uh, mega cap technology space, you're hoping as well. Because if this... NVIDIA can get going. And they report earnings, I believe, next Wednesday, I believe on the 22nd. I would love to get a run above the top of the range here into earnings and have this thing get to this 940, 950 level. I would love to see that. Is that going to happen? I've been literally looking at the damn stock every single day, taking little bit of scraps every single day, and it keeps on failing every single day. Um, so I'm hoping tomorrow is finally the day, or at least in the next couple of days, Hopefully, this data-driven uh, news tomorrow at 8.30 will get these stocks going higher, and we'll finally start getting a really, really aggressive move, uh, an expansion channel that we haven't seen in basically a week and a half of technology. Maybe we'll finally get it tomorrow, uh, getting it tomorrow. So tomorrow, uh, I definitely like uh, NVIDIA, especially if it gets above the range. Uh, I'm definitely watching Tesla, if it can reclaim back the 65-day moving average. Uh, that looks good. Uh, look at HIMS. Hims, hers, they, their, any pro pronoun you want. But hims, if this thing could get back above uh, the 50-day moving average, this looks pretty good as well. Uh, you got names like, let me see what else I can give you guys. Uh, Meta, actually, after a two-day uh, rest, after a run-up, let's see if it could get back above this whole supply zone here. Let's see if it could wake up there as well. 
And let me give you guys one more name. Uh, let me give you guys one more name to watch for tomorrow. Oh, Arm. Look at Arm. Uh, let me give you guys two more names. Look at Arm. Uh, Arm had a, no. Arm had an initial reaction that was negative to earnings. Had a big spike up yesterday. Rested today. Put in an inside day. What's what's very very important about this? It's resting below the 50 day. If tomorrow, if it could reclaim back the 50-day moving average, that's going to give it a big macro green light. So keep an eye on that. And one last one, I want to give you guys a little bit more of a speculative name, considering they've been taking up a lot of these short interest stocks in the last 24 hours. Look at Sava, right? Sava was like dead to rights for the last you know month and just really, really dead to rights. Now, was this rally today based on what's going on right now in this whole you know squeeze everybody in sight of the garbage? Maybe, you know, we'll see tomorrow because if they can just get above uh, the highs from uh, May the 8th, who knows? Maybe this thing has a day too. So definitely keep an eye on that as well. So that's it, guys. We are set up for tomorrow. Uh, big data coming out tomorrow at 8.30. It's definitely going to drive uh, price and sentiment action tomorrow. Uh, as always, we are prepared on both uh, sides of the market. If you are interested, uh, check out the pivots, check out uh, the PS60 theory, kick the tires for 30 days. I think it's something that you will enjoy because it's an alternative view from the quote unquote uh, normal. But again, guys, congratulations. If you have participated and I didn't uh, in this whole, uh, in, you know, this whole um, GameStop, AMC and anything else under the sun, congratulations. You did wonderful. Uh, you know, enjoy your, your, your victory and make sure you're smart to book the profits. Guys, God bless everybody. Have a great night. And I will see you all tomorrow. Take care.